make your mind tonight Pull in your head, baby I feel you breathing on me, on you You know that I'm a selfish lover When it's mine, I want it One track mine for it, for you your dreams tell me everything yeah do it i'll 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 do it party's never over for me my favorite toy story both of us chasing me woody let me be a fantasy Still find the key in the car Come find the key, baby Baby I don't think I can let you go I don't think I can let you go Bet you love me before I go Bet you love me before I go I don't think I can let you go I don't think I can let you go Bet you love me before I go What's up, everyone? Welcome to S'mores Indoors After Dark. Myself, Corey, here, along with Dan Shine from Flesh Wound Features. Dan, what's going on tonight? Nothing much. I'm doing fantastic. A big fan of uh, Marie and Seymour uh, uh, from back in the day, so very excited. It's going to be a fun time tonight, for sure. And we're also joined by uh, Mr. Jay the Stingray. How are you doing tonight, Jay? What's up, guys? I'm happy to be here. Thanks for letting me join in the fun tonight. <laughs> Uh, no problem. Thanks it's, for being here. Looking it's forward one to night this. where nobody gives a damn about us. I mean, <laughs> that's true. Absolutely. That's true. And, uh, <laughs> and we're going to prove that point right now. So uh, I'm going to introduce our special guest, co-star of Family Business, the show we're going to be talking about tonight. It is Marie Posa. How are you doing? Hi. Thanks for being on. This is awesome. 
Yay. <laughs> we we talked a little before the show. She wasn't uh, prepared with the watch along, but we're going to be ready for the next episode. You so, didn't uh, tell me I had to watch it on my I own. I know. We're it's all, it it's all my fault. <laughs> it I take the blame. So, But thanks nonetheless for being here. It's going to be uh, awesome to talk to you and kind of take you back down memory lane and when uh, the show was being filmed and things like that. So, um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, uh, so the plan for each episode for everyone watching is that uh, we're going to be doing the uh, first two or the first two episodes tonight, two episodes per show, typically. So uh, we will get that started. If you guys are ready, are you guys queued up to watch? How long are the episodes? 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, did you sleep through this show when you were making it? <laughs> It was like 20 years ago. What are you? That's <laughs> true. <laughs> we don't we don't have an exciting life, so you know, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> so uh, if you guys are ready, we'll uh, we'll kick the first episode off here. And uh, three, two, one, and play. This show has one of the best theme song openings ever. <laughs> She doesn't know. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> She'll oh, find out. She'll find out next time. So. Yes, I can't remember it. <laughs> Hum it a little bit. See if it comes back to me. Do you oh. remember when you found out there was going to be a show and, and when they were setting up the recording of that show? Yes, I do. Um, I was still in the office, so... Uh, I was really the liaison from the okay. office, yes, to uh, okay. producers. Gotcha. Yes, and I actually had to nag Seymour to like call him back. I was like, oh, you really? Need to call people back, yes. <laughs> what was his um, trepidation with it? Was it just a bad look, or just, no? He was just busy. Oh, okay. Busy, yes. And another thing too, it's like um, he thought that it was gonna they were it was gonna be something where they wanted to portray him like in a negative way. Right. You know? mm. So right. Yeah, I could see how that would be a concern. So I think he comes off really good in the show myself. Uh, really a family a man, so. family <laughs> guy and a great dad in the show. So I agree. <laughs> this is also a good look at a lot of uh, stars early in their careers too. I, I didn't remember some of the names that were were on this. Are you still in contact with uh, a lot of the people from the show, like Stevie and uh, Seymour? Yes. That's awesome. Yeah. Cool. I think Stevie was one of the big, he kind of made the show, in my opinion. <laughs> At least the, com <laughs> the comedy side of things. Yeah, hilarious guy. <laughs> oh my gosh. So did they uh, film this actually at his house or did they have a uh, set sort of? His house? Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Yes. I know a lot of people that come from the reality TV world where it's not actually <laughs> their home. Yeah, no. It's at home. I that we're at a scene here where he's getting his son ready for school and I think it's Labor Day or Memorial Day, one of the two. There's no school. Um uh -huh. <laughs> what was the uh that's because he's always so busy. That's what I'm telling you. Oh, I was gonna, I was gonna kind of ask how, you know, sometimes I mean, reality shows are overproduced, but so he's just a busy guy and doesn't care. all the time, <laughs> every time since I've met him, he's always working. That's good to be though. I have to remind him to slow down, take a break. <laughs> Did you eat? <laughs> Yeah, definitely. Uh, 
like Dan said there in the chat, anybody has any questions, please post them in the yeah, chat and we'll, we'll ask them. I think you'll, I think you'll have a good time when you're actually able to watch it though. I think it's, it's a, it's a lot of fun. So, you know, we always talk about, uh, you know, let's watch it here in the house, but we never really get around to it. Yeah. He's too busy. You got to He is. Did uh, anybody uh, in the family, uh, Seymour's mom or anything, have reservations about doing it uh, at first? Not that I remember. You know, it was, um, I think that by the time, I guess, Adam approached them, they trusted his judgment, mm -hmm. you know? So I don't remember them. I don't know, maybe they just wanted to be on TV, so no <laughs> kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't remember anyone not wanting to do it. Uh, we were talking about a little about this before the show. This is kind of a style of show that's kind of dead these days. You know, we don't get shows like this anymore, so. I know, right? It's kind of a shame. Well, they're, they're, they feel so fake now. Yeah. That's true. No, Ben, unfortunately, this uh, isn't streaming anywhere. Um, I will say I picked up the first two seasons on DVD pretty affordably online, so I uh, just kind of shop <laughs> around. <laughs> they didn't send you free DVDs? You're the star. <laughs> no. <laughs> At the time, they did. We did have. But, you know, you give to friends, right? Mm -hmm. so, right. Okay. We gave them all away. Every copy. And now it's like, where do we get our heads? <laughs> <laughs> eBay. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, Amazon's got, has them still. I think uh, one of the most interesting things uh, revisiting this was it was right as VHS was still around, but kind of dying. So mm -hmm. I know there's uh, one episode where he's talking to a producer, whether it's time to make the, the switch to DVD. So it's it's kind of a time capsule now. Yep. Oh, man, that, that computer screen really dates it, doesn't it? <laughs> yes. Kids? The, the, big, the big bulky. Yeah. Oh. He, He's on whatever Tinder was back then. <laughs> <laughs> He's on J date. <laughs> J date. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> his uh, his dates he goes on in the show are pretty hilarious too. So. <laughs> trying to explain what he does. <laughs> Did you two start uh, dating before filming, or did it kind of just naturally happen during filming? During. Oh, awesome. Mm -hmm. Cool. What's a what's a a typical day in the life with Adam when it's just you two and you're kind of just being normal people? Well, I like to sleep, so <laughs> stay in bed as long as. I can. Right. <laughs> and just uh, watch movies. We love watching movies together. Any favorites? Um, He likes sci-fi stuff. Nothing okay. that has to do anything with reality, he says. <laughs> <laughs> we can get him on your next species uh, commentary, Jay. That'd be... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I don't know, go swimming or something like that. We're very yeah. chill. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting watching that. I guess Brady would be in his 20s now? A little older, I guess. Oh, awesome. Mm hmm Was there ever a point where uh, he asked to watch the show uh, at all? or? He still hasn't seen it either. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> it 
it's it's a little bit different i think when you do stuff like that i don't know mm -hmm. it's like you like i don't watch any of my scenes either it's just like i don't know mm -hmm. it's some it's weird watching yourself right it's not as entertaining as other people think it is <laughs> <laughs> What are you guys watching? Oh, he's doing it like a casting call right now. Oh, okay. Which is interesting, especially uh, when he leaves Stevie to do the uh, male <laughs> casting <laughs> portion. <Yeah>, poor Steve. <laughs> <laughs> It, it's interesting for me to see the industry from this side. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, it's like an inside look behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what he really wanted to was to give everyone like a behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. He always got great camera angles i remember back in the 90s watching his videos i mean they always stood out uh, among other i mean 90s adult films were not always known for their quality but he always went that extra mile to make them good he he has an eye for that stuff i guess <laughs> so we have a question here from ben Says he saw you had a part in Haunted, a Haunted House 2, the Marlon Wayans parody. What was uh, Marlon like? Uh, very nice. Very professional. I mean, um, I didn't get to spend that much time with him. We got ready. It was Sophie and I, Sophie D. Okay. And so we got ready in the trailers and then came to the set. He's sitting there. We briefly met him, and then they give you the rundown on what you're going to do, and that's pretty much it. That was awesome. it. Mm -hmm. Did you have a good time, though, on, on the Oh, yeah, I was cool that. coming out on set, yeah. Cool. Yeah, that was nice, yeah. Are uh, Bishop and uh, Stevie still involved at all in the industry, or have they moved on to other Not things? Not Stevie, but Bishop still. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I just met up with him maybe like two months ago, I think, on set. He was shooting something and I just went by. Cool. Did you guys, uh, well, I, I would assume obviously that, that was it overwhelming uh, once you were on Showtime that you had more people coming up to you than before? I mean, was that easy for you guys probably being recognized out shopping more than? Oh, more? I don't like attention. I lie. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't mind it at all. Not at all. It didn't. It didn't bother me. But I was surprised though on like you know like being in like in Mexico and people coming up to him. And recognizing him, that was like, what? <laughs> yeah. Right. No. So here, here he is on his uh, first blind date here from from J Day. I want to hear about it. <laughs> <laughs> she does not react well. No, she. <laughs> oh no! It's just like whoa. I'm a Christian. <laughs> that ha that has to be a nerve wracking reveal, I'm sure. Um, not as nerve wracking as it is having to, you know, when they ask you like at when you're applying for like schools for your children oh wow <laughs> oh wow right <laughs> yeah that... that's a little bit more nerve-wracking <laughs> <laughs> yeah i would think so <laughs> yeah stevie is uh trying to not make eye contact with this guy <laughs> while he's trying to to 
<laughs> He's the weirdest. <laughs> He's just so funny. Now the Woody. Yeah. <laughs> He's working on it, I think. <laughs> He never knows what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks he knows what he does. It. <laughs> we got a lot of, um, is Stevie really like that? Mm -hmm. or, is he, or is he really, you know, just playing a character? Nope, he's really like that. <laughs> that makes me like him even more. You know, so. Oh, he's super <laughs> chill, yes. <laughs> I met him years and years ago in Vegas for, I guess it would have been an AVN thing. Um, Most likely. Yeah, yeah, he's he's really funny. He had, I just remember a big group of people and he was cracking everybody up. <laughs> That's him. <laughs> I believe they only show her briefly, but was uh, Belladonna involved? That's, yeah. I thought that was her. Okay. Yes. Yeah, That's funny. Uh, uh, Seymour is just asking me if I've seen anything about her lately. And I, I haven't. Have you guys? No, it's weird. She's kind of, uh, I mean, I don't want to say disappeared, but I, I haven't heard anything for like a right. couple years. Yeah. Yeah. Same. Same here. Just had a uh, a Japanese chef saying his only two loves were sushi and Seymour Butts. That was <laughs> pretty awesome. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Most of this episode is just Stevie patiently <laughs> waiting while this guy tries to to get a boner and yeah. uh, not that's make eye contact. That's with hilarious. <laughs> oh, that reminds me, you know how you asked about the house? At that <laughs> time, he is actually living next door to Kourtney Kardashian. Oh, wow. How are we doing? Yeah. <laughs> That was before they were like popular, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yes, yes, yes. He was asking her to do some work for him on like t-shirts and stuff like that. They had their their store, I believe. Okay. Yeah, I think they were at least four or five years away from their reality show at this point. What are you laughing at? What did he do? He's losing his boner because he can't get the camera to work. Oh. <laughs> That's so funny. Of course. <laughs> I know uh, one theme here is uh, friends that, but you know, try and basically like put me in your movies. Put me in your movies. Do you have? Oh. I assume he's probably. You guys probably have a lot of stories about that going horribly wrong. <laughs> it's not, no, because it doesn't ever get to that. Because you know, yeah. you already know. People, you will be like, "Yeah, I want to be in a movie. I want to be in a movie," but it's just like, no, you would never be able to make. It. <laughs> 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 so I was like, don't even think about it. <laughs> He finally got his shot, so. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't want to shake the guy's hand, so. Obvious reasons. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Does uh, Stevie miss it at all? I don't know. I haven't asked him about that. I will. I'll ask him if he misses it. I don't know. He's a happy guy wherever he goes, so. <laughs> it's funny watching his uh his mom trying to set him up on, <laughs> on dates. Lila. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. 
Yeah, she was always an interesting uh, contrast on on this uh, this show, uh, <laughs> particularly with Stevie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's known him for a while, so she's used to it. <laughs> how, how did you first come to to work with uh, uh, Seymour? I answered a newspaper ad. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Yes, I was uh, going to school, and I I was working at a uh, lawyer's office, and he was giving me too much work, so I started looking for a new job. <laughs> <laughs> I just started sending out my resume out. She called and I didn't even know which, you know, uh, office it was. And um, she takes me to the back to show me like uh, to the kind of movies they do there. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, who the hell <laughs> did I apply? <laughs> I applied as a receptionist. You know? <laughs> But of course, I was intrigued, and she gave me movies to take home, to <laughs> yes, to make to review to make sure that I was okay with the type of work that was done there. So of course, I took them home and called all my friends and say, "Hey." <laughs> <laughs> I was watching uh, an interview. I think it was when the show was out. He did with Conan O'Brien, mm -hmm. and uh, you were talking about this neighborhood. He he talk, told the story about uh, kind of the neighbors running up and him signing a bunch of movies out of the back of his car <laughs> for all the oh. neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> he was a little concerned if they figured out who he was, but everyone was cool with it. So. He gets uh, to the point where he has to take a date to a uh, film editing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who is he taking? Uh, we're not quite there yet, I don't think. Oh, so. okay. Yeah, he's the first date goes terrible. <laughs> so. Yeah. She looked like Janice from Friends. You guys remember that? Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> she did a little bit. <laughs> He's going to uh, this date kind of dressed like The Rock from the late 90s a little bit. Give <laughs> him a fanny pack. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to tell him you were making fun of him. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I had the same jacket back then so <laughs> and i think it looks good so <laughs> it's flashy the shirt anyway he he is flashy <laughs> hello see more but not, not everybody can pull that off so you know <laughs> So you weren't aware of uh, who he was at all before you started working with them, never came across the movies? No idea whatsoever. I had never really seen like a hardcore porn movie at that. Mm -hmm. All I've seen it at that point was like uh, vivid stuff, you know? Oh, uh, okay. Okay. It's yeah. a playboy. He's way better than vivid. So you can oh, tell I mean, said that. I can just tell you when I picked up the box and I turned it over and it was just a gaping asshole the first, <laughs> the first gaping asshole i'd ever seen in my life at first i thought it was fake i was like no way what no this can't be it's gonna be fake. a cgi and then, asshole <laughs> no <laughs> another day in the office <laughs> 
how long was that uh that transition time for you when you came in that for that interview to when you decided hey maybe i want to do it this was a, it was a few years okay yeah it was like uh maybe three to four hmm. yes okay it was really like little matthew's fault okay Mm-hmm. She come into the office, pick up checks, just making it seem like, yeah, hey, it's awesome. <laughs> are, are and I, guys- was, I, was, I was having fun, you know, I was young, going to the clubs. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I'm having sex for free. Why? <laughs> <laughs> what were you going to ask? Are, are you guys still in contact with uh, Herschel Savage at all, who is also so good on the show? No, we haven't spoken to him in a long time. I haven't seen any of his stuff. Actually, I used to follow him on social media, but I don't know what happened, but I, I have not seen him in a while. No. Yeah, yeah he, he's, was... he is in this quite a bit, isn't he? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Adam liked working with him, so he was mm-hmm. really nice. Yeah, he had already been in the business probably a good 25 years by this point. He, it's a legend. A total pro, I can tell you that. Yeah, yeah. Like on, swing, break. <laughs> on, swing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when I, whenever I uh, do uh, shows or interviews about the industry, uh a lot of people will ask about seeing the same guys over and over and, and some for decades. And uh, it is very, very difficult to perform. You think, oh, it'd be good. But, you know, you've got lights and other people in the room. It's not uh, <laughs> It's intimidating yeah. when it's the cameras start rolling. believe wasn't uh herschel doing i think stand up at this time he was yeah working there's on, I yeah, one episode i think plays mhm yeah yeah his uh generation you know Jamie Gillis uh Eric Edwards and some of those guys i mean uh, uh Paul Thomas i mean he started in uh Jesus Christ superstar so a lot of the guys back then did a lot of mainstream films as well. And Herschel could act. He played a good uh, villain in a lot of his early stuff. Oh, yeah. His date is not reacting very well to the... Uh, <laughs> the Another question? <laughs> I think she might have seen her first gaping asshole too. So. Yes. <laughs> was it difficult, uh, like having the Showtime crew here while he was trying to make the movies uh, with you guys? I mean, did that make it just kind of? You know, like, you got to stay out of my way because we still have to make yes. these movies. Yes. And even just for the performers, too, like an extra, you know, crew there also. Like, mm-hmm. what is this? <laughs> yeah, I can imagine because not always the largest set. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. So some of these shots, I can imagine there was some fighting between the crews. Oh, yeah. She definitely has that there's not going to be a second date look. (laughs) (laughs) Too bad for her. (laughs) Well, we're we're about done with the first episode here. We do want to say hey to Orc out there, uh, Borderline 11, Ben Graham, of course, uh, our buddy Andrew. Hey, isn't that Devon Graham? Big Crack Rock, and Brian Murphy. Thank you guys for hopping in for now. (laughs) 
the the quest uh, continues. <laughs> man, the baggy clothes back then, man. Yeah. Um, I I I dressed exactly like this, and I I kind of miss it. I think it looks cool. Oh, I, yeah, I definitely wore jinkos back in the day. So. <laughs> oh. Je jeans are quite different now. <laughs> Seymour still wears those. <laughs> That's yeah, his they need to come like back. Pockets, pockets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could fit an entire carton of cigarettes in my back pocket. <laughs> yeah, he does. Oh, Brian's with the Strange and Sinister group that uh, Rachel's in. So, thanks for hopping on with us. Yeah, this was always, um, I mean, back in the day, it was family business, uh, real sex on HBO, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, taxi cab confessions. Oh, all, yeah. these, <laughs> all these great shows are just gone now. It's, it's so sad. Shows for adults. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Reality shows now have gotten so overproduced, and you could tell that a lot of this was just genuine, which uh, is sorely missed. There's just a lot of drama now, no? But I think that's what, because that's what we like watching. I don't know. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think Gigolos is, is not running anymore either. So there's really nothing remotely like this mm -hmm. even on. No. Hmm. No. Oh, was Gigolos? I think Gigolos was produced maybe by also some of the producers on Family Business. Right? Oh, wow. Yeah, I think so. If you look for the credits, you'll be able to see that. But I think so. Okay. Mm hmm Yeah, that was uh that was probably one of the last uh last yeah. shows. Like You're that. right. Yeah, you were right. That's pretty much it. That was it. All right, well that's uh, episode one. <laughs> How many episodes are there in the first season? Uh, I think there's ten. Is that right, Dan? Yes. You act. You actually don't appear till episode four. Um, but uh, yeah, I think it's ten total. Okay. And we're coming up on his high school uh, reunion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he goes to his high school reunion, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. All right, I'll give you guys. Yeah, totally forgotten that. A second to get ready there. Do you want to come in here, honey? Come here. He's here. <laughs> what? Oh, wow. Look. I'm so tired. I know he's, he's, he's so tired. <laughs> That's okay. He just We're finished now. a meeting right now. Ah, uh, gotcha. So. <laughs> well, maybe he can hop on in the future with us. That'd be awesome. That would be great. Yeah, we can do something, guys. Awesome. Thanks, man. I don't remember half this shit either. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my reunion, I'm like, I'm getting flashbacks to it. Uh, They're watching your dates. It starts with the dates. You're, you dating. Is it, what is it, episode one, season one? Uh-huh. Yeah. That, I, I really? I went to my reunion in episode one, season one? I think it's episode two. Episode right? two, yeah. Uh, yeah, I know. Jesus. Well, she, did she tell you? We, we haven't watched it since we, I mean, we obviously watched it when it aired. Yeah. But since then, we haven't seen shit. I, I mean, told them. Yeah. <laughs> they asked if Brady's seen it. No. Yeah. No, that's what I said. Yeah, I, I, and he has really little, he has like no, no interest. interest. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> He'd like to really like, ever happened, I think. <laughs> He would really like me to change my name, I think. Really, really. Oh, yeah. That's, that's for sure. Or he wants to change his name, one or the other. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys ready to go with your. your uh, uh, let's go to the reunion. All right, so here we go in three, two, one, and play. <clears throat> 
This one's a little shorter, 25 minutes. Oh. So. Yeah, you guys are keeping me up. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> the time she masturbates, guys, so you should really feel honored. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know I was masturbating earlier. So. <laughs> it's important to have a schedule. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> that is a cool, it's a really cool opening theme song. I know. Do you remember that? I told them I don't remember what the song even the jingle was. Yeah, it was very folksy. Well, uh, you know, Jay and Tony wrote it. Yeah, I don't remember I don't it at all. Good. I know. I didn't know I was supposed to watch it on my own. <laughs> I thought we were gonna. There was gonna be oh, something they told here. You to oh, oh. <laughs> no, I didn't ask. Oh. I didn't. <clears throat> I just assume, and that's, that's what I That's my girl. <laughs> <laughs> Always assuming. <laughs> Had to be the uh, the king of this reunion. <laughs> How? <laughs> I, I would assume. Yeah. And and the funny thing is, guys, is that I went to. High, I mean, I don't think any of them went. I, I can't. I can't remember. I think I would remember if they did. But mm -hmm. I mean, literally, at my high school was uh, Robert Downey Jr., Rob Lowe. Oh wow. Um, Holly Robinson, Pete, Sean Penn, Chris Penn. Uh, who the hell else? I mean, it was like a who's who of Hollywood people because all of those kids lived in Malibu at the time. Oh, and the Estevezes, uh, Sheen, Charlie Sheen, and uh, Emilio Estevez. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. I mean, right? It's like, it was like, Crazy uh, because they all lived in Malibu, and at the time Malibu didn't have its own high school. It does now, mm -hmm. but they used to. They used to. Well, these kids didn't bus in. Obviously, they drove their Rolls Royces. But uh, the the normal kids. Were, well, are there normal kids from Malibu? I don't think. I don't know. <laughs> uh, anyway, they went to Santa Monica High School at the time, so it was a very who's who. I, I'm assuming that none of them, although we weren't all in the same class. Um, Rob was in, Rob Lowe was in the same class. Robert, Robert Downey Jr. was in the same class. Uh, uh, and no, the Penn brothers were split. Uh, Charlie Sheen was in the same class. So, but I don't think any of them showed. So yeah, so at, at, to get to your, your question, I was pretty much the start. And look, obviously we walked in with a fucking camera crew. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I can assure I can assure you I was the only one who did that. <laughs> you could have recruited Charlie Sheen, probably. <laughs> At, the time, <laughs> At the time, I think Charlie Sheen was banging more porn stars than I was. <laughs> <laughs> he probably still is. He still <laughs> probably has. Yeah, that. probably. <laughs> he'd, he'd, he'd be tough to probably beat <laughs> that department. Just putting up Wilt Chamberlain numbers. Yeah. What do you guys speaking, of, speaking of Wilt Chamberlain numbers, I hate to I hate to break away, but how about Ron Jeremy? Oh man, oh. that's yeah. Yeah, that's like Will, Will Chamberlain rape numbers. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've I've been following that. It's it's crazy. Yeah. Anyway, I didn't mean to, to digress, but something reminded me of him. Mm. Charlie Sheen. They were actually very good friends. <laughs> Yeah, when I whenever I was in California, it was the weirdest thing because you run into Ron Jeremy everywhere, like yeah, not even right? just, especially yeah. if you went to the Rainbow Bar and Grill. Yes, yes, I've <laughs> seen him there. <laughs> it's funny you mention that. Yeah, he, he always with like Edward Furlong usually for some reason. Those guys hung out all the time.
Stevie's gonna, recruiting yeah, strip club talent right now. <laughs> I'm assuming, Dan, you've seen that Ron Jeremy doc, right? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Long that makes ago. that makes that seem even more creepier. Than- yeah. Oh, yeah, it's bad. I haven't seen the Ron Jeremy doc. Neither have I. Yeah, like 20 years ago. Um, yeah, it is disturbing now. Is Ron Jeremy in family business? I don't think it has to be. Uh, you might wonder. see him in the background maybe once, but not in it, in it that I remember. I know, I don't remember. I mean, he was always around, so I bet I don't know if he ended up in the show or not. I, I just, I can't believe he, he's not in the show, like, a little bit, because... He's always around. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and not that, but, but considering what, you know, what kind of shit we did for the show, you would think that he would have been right for something. Yeah. Right. Doing right. I mean, maybe not. I don't know. You know, there was a point, the thing was, is that... I didn't like the way he performed. Mm -hmm. Um, And I always gave him shit about it. And and I really didn't like hiring him because he he never took his hand off his dick. (laughs) You know, he had to keep his hand at the base of his dick to keep it hard. So I called him the grip. I would say, I would literally, I'd be so pissed at him. I would say, dude, Lose the grip. <laughs> he would lose it for like two seconds, and then the grip would be bad. Uh, and I just got done. I, I just got tired. I don't like that. You know, I want to see. I don't want to see guys having trouble in a fucking movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. We were we were talking about uh, '90s uh, a porn earlier and how bad some of it was, and we saw one with him a while back that it was just him on like a garage floor like you could tell he was struggling to get erect it was just <laughs> brutal to watch man i mean it's it's like yeah, yeah. nobody wants to watch that <laughs> <laughs> you know a lot of people struggled on my sets I, it's a very like you said earlier i heard you say it's extremely difficult yeah um, you know, there's one, there's one guy, I think, go ahead. I'm sorry. Someone's got a question or something. No, I'm sorry. I was just going to say, I bet uh, Viagra was a game changer. Oh, For- yeah. Although it, you know what? It wasn't a hundred percent. Guys still struggled on it. Like, you know, there's a mental thing about it. And no matter what you got going on, if your mind isn't there, you're done. Yeah. Yeah. You know who I threw off my set, but he went on to become a great, I think he's a great performer. It looks like he's a great performer. He just, it was his first time ever for me, and it was just too much for him. And I don't blame him, really. But um, Eric Everhart. Oh, wow. Yeah. 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 I'm glad he's, I'm glad he turned, I mean, he fucking turned it around and showed me, but that day it just wasn't, it just wasn't going. I had to say, bro, you, it's just not happening for you. You know, I literally asked him to leave. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I felt bad about it, but he, he actually is one guy who seems to really have kind of, I mean, he's, he's kind of a mainstay now. It's hard to imagine having a good first shoot. Uh, just your first Mine time. Was on great. Set. <laughs> oh, it was. Oh. <laughs> what was? What, what was? Were your your nerves didn't get to you at all on your first shoot? Oh no 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 no! It's not the same now. <laughs> you know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> yeah, she's like, um, I think I can spread my legs today. <laughs> yep. <laughs> 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 I like uh, Stevie's staff proctology shirt. <laughs> uh-huh. he, he, Adam has those. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. 
It's always fun to wear it at the grocery store. Oh, we have some actually. You guys want me to send you some? Yeah, that'd be awesome. Absolutely. Yeah, send me anything you know. Send Look how us. lucky you guys just got. <laughs> <laughs> Staff proctologist shirts. Wow. wow. <laughs> I can guarantee you're going to be the only ones in your block with them. <laughs> I'll wear that to my next city council meeting. I have to go to for work. So, Imagine. <laughs> it's an icebreaker. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> you are taking dancing lessons right now. What? Do you take dancing lessons? You for have my reunion. Ah. Yeah. You yes. have to take dancing lessons with me then. Right. Why? It was, I'm so bad. It's just, it's, it's not the more fault. reason to. Huh? The more reason to. Oh, it's like the, I think that I think that the, the instructor threatened to sue if if I didn't leave. <laughs> I was making them look so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Stevie is getting lap dances while he's supposed to be working. <laughs> Stevie. Why not? It's not like he's got anything better to do. <laughs> taking he's a work call type. while getting one too. So. If we can squeeze it in there, I'm sure. Why not? <laughs> Oh, you know, that reminds me. Steve is the, uh, no one's going to know. No one's going to know. How will they know, guys? That's who he is. <laughs> Was it common to show up at, like, strip clubs and just try and recruit like that? Or was there everything? No. Trust me, yes. <laughs> what? She has no clue. Not for me. Oh. If you don't think half the adult... <laughs> Producers in the oh. industry, quote unquote, producers were at the strip clubs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course they were. I mean, where else the fuck are you going to go? Yeah. <laughs> if you want to find new girls, there there was nowhere else to go. I mean, then the internet came around. Sure, yeah, yeah. Then it made it easier. Mm -hmm. But in the in the old days, strip clubs were like number one spot. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. that's where he gets it from. <laughs> the this show is extra interesting to watch now because uh, you were just, I mean, VHS was still around, but uh, there's one episode where you're talking to another producer about whether he should switch over completely to DVD. So it's, again, it's a, it's kind of a fascinating time capsule of, of the industry. Yeah. Yeah. You're getting yeah, ready. We were deciding, we had to make a big decision as to whether we were going to go VHS or I think it was Betamax. Is that it? Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Fucking yeah porn not choosing the Betamax format pretty much ended that war. Yeah, exactly. That says a lot. Yeah. And uh, the industry well, never really embraced Blu ray either what's that uh the industry never really fully embraced blu-ray either that was like uh one format very few people would put out blu-rays yeah yeah blu-rays kind of came and went very somewhat quickly i mean comparatively are they still around yeah yeah they still uh well every every all physical media is kind of dying now but they're still around blu -ray? yeah I mean, we got heavy into CD-ROM. Mm -hmm. Oh well, the, you know that that everybody jumped into pretty pretty wholeheartedly. You hijacked my podcast. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Hey, stay. <laughs> but you say you know you just said you don't want to be on it. I'm 
Well, uh, real quick, if you can uh, settle that uh, debate. Uh, so squirting, that's that's what they're talking about in the episode now. Is it is Can it real you? or is it pee? What? Do you want to ask you about squirting? Oh, sorry. <laughs> he needs he needs to know the truth <clears throat> from the horse's mouth. About what? <laughs> squirting. Is it real or fake usually? Oh, um, well, it's real and fake. Mm -hmm. Right? I mean, some girls really do it, other girls fake it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, this show actually introduced it to me, so thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> Shooting in a limo with uh, two crews <laughs> had to be a nightmare. Oh, yeah. Oh, is that the squirting thing with, with Flower? Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. Oh, my God. But Flower's just coming in the business, right? Is that what and, that was? And not, but the worst <sighs> part of that was... Crazy that's in there. The crew got hit. Uh -huh. And he freaked the fuck out. <laughs> First of all, he had no idea what the fuck we were doing, like what was gonna happen. Nobody said anything. It goes and, everywhere. Oh yeah. man. He got I mean I, he was ready to quit. He was like he want he needed a shower, he needed to get out of his clothes, like he was he didn't know he was gonna tell his wife. He was <laughs> I mean, Funny. Square in the in the head. <laughs> Funny thing happened at the office today, honey. <laughs> That's Flower's first ever scene. Oh wow! Yeah. Yeah. That would be her first. Yeah, there's like a lake in the back of that limo. But were you actually on set much uh, before you started actually shooting? Uh, were you, you know, behind the scenes? Me? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, so you got to see it. Uh huh. I oh, gotta wipe down the camera now. <laughs> <laughs> I've been to a couple of these adult car wash things they're always fun oh that was fun i like that, that mm. cool. did you know bill margo oh i uh, not personally but I, I know him of course that was his thing mm -hmm. <laughs> Where does Flower go after her scene? What happens to her? She kind of just disappears for a little while, so yeah. <laughs> you have to dry off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> sort of wondering, I'm like, within a minute, what are the things with Flower afterwards? <laughs> we just dump her off on the side of the road. <laughs> Get her a Gatorade. <laughs> Cameraman in the limo walked through the adult car wash and got cleaned up, I guess. So. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. We were on our way to the car wash. I don't yeah. remember it. Okay, so then, so then, yeah. So it, it, do I get dunked? Yeah. You are in the dunk tank now, yes. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I think we I think we had to literally shoot for an hour before any idiot could hit that target. <laughs> yeah, just sit there until somebody oh hit my it. God. Like they just nobody could hit it. <laughs> I'm jealous. You get to watch it. <laughs> you can, you do you debut in episode four, so uh, the next episode you'll yeah you know with just the I was you know I was already my hopes were up before this I was like yes I get to see the old stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
trying really hard to make it to uh, the the reunion. <laughs> oh, so he's or, going from the car wash to the reunion? Yeah. Uh, getting dressed now. Stevie keeps right. giving him more stuff to do. <laughs> <laughs> See, they do capture your how you're always busy with them. Like that. <laughs> what do you mean? You're always doing something. You always got something to do. <laughs> On the move. <laughs> Be interesting. Uh, the people already at the reunion, what they, if, what they knew or made of the cameras, you know. Uh, Did anybody come up to you and say like? I think um, I'm almost 100 percent. Sure, they were made aware, and we had to ask permission, obviously. Yeah, oh, yeah. You, had get, you had to get releases, yeah, right? Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Hmm. Um, they were all pretty supportive. One of the people, one of my best female friends, didn't want to didn't want to appear because her husband is in the FBI. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah, there's some blurred faces uh, in the crowd. Yeah, yeah. So some are blurred and some are open, right? Yeah, yeah it's about fifty fifty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ugh. Probably getting a lot of uh, uh, requests to be in the movies right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I was, it wasn't for many girls. <laughs> yeah, if, if you go to school there it is particularly interesting seeing who went on to what uh, Todd uh, uh, flesh wound features uh, went to went to uh was in the same class as tiger woods and uh <laughs> who, who uh todd loya flesh wound features my podcast he uh uh same thing in california it's like you go back and you don't realize like oh i went to no, tiger woods was in my class yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, you should know they watch very intensively. They are like really. <laughs> we are we are big. <laughs> it's a good show. I, I think it really it holds up to you. I have no idea why this is why it's not on Netflix. Yeah, I wish it was streaming somewhere because we have season one and two on DVD, and then three and four are just kind of God. out in the ether somewhere. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. The only thing, and I don't know that it'd be an issue with this. I, I know Real Sex on HBO, because uh, I always looked into it, and they said most of the early episodes, it's music issues, and that they're not going to clear up to put it on streaming. So, oh, but We didn't have music because of that. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah, but ours is, our issues were on the model releases. Mm-hmm. Well, not they, everybody. They didn't, yeah, they didn't, they didn't get everybody. And at the time, it was the huge 2257 mess. Oh, wow. Right, where the record keeping was like, you know, they were threatening you with huge fines and coming in mm -hmm. to check your records. Oh, wow. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, they fucked up the mile releases somehow. Hmm. So you didn't get to go to the the reunion with them, uh, uh, Marie. Did you ever go to any uh, to the next one? No, no. <laughs> he doesn't want to introduce I me to was, any of his friends. I think I was banned from the next one. <laughs> Not again. Oh yeah, I know they took you off the list. That's why you don't even know if it was another. <laughs> Oh, 
surprised if they're here for a sad American recess. How many years ago was that? I don't know. There's what only is, a 20 it? year, though. It's relax. Oh, there's no 30. such thing. <laughs> they only do like a 20, and that's it. Uh, <laughs> and that's episode two. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching. All right. Well, uh, that we just finished episode two. So, um, All right. Fun time. Right. Yeah, it sure does. <clears throat> the mm -hmm. next time you'll get to actually watch it. So yes. <laughs> yes. With us. Awesome. So what what episode should I cue to? Uh we'll be starting episode three next time, season yes. one. So okay. K Kesa de Butts is the third episode. <laughs> yes. What is it? What is it? Kesa de Butts or something like that? Casa de Butts. Casa, oh, de Casa? De Butts. Casa. Casa means house. Okay. Mi casa, yes. su casa. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, I um, and if you stick around after the show, we'll kind of schedule that out. So oh, okay. You know, just hang on. Right, but I right. want to first off uh, give you a chance to let everyone know where they can find you online if they want to follow what you're doing these days. On Twitter at the Mariposa, and Instagram same the Mariposa. And I do cam on the, Streammate. Hold on. V meaning T H E E. Yes. Because, yeah, V could be T H E. Uh, okay. V T H E E, Mariposa. Okay. Got, it. Got it. And I'll put your links in the description of this video for anyone who watches later, too, Perfect. so they can find you. Uh, Jay, you have anything coming up on your channel? Nothing worth mentioning, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't hold a camera to this. So. <laughs> How about you, Dan? Uh, Flesh Wound Features on YouTube, and uh, we just uh, uh, recorded a big show. Go back and listen to the Nightmare Christie interview. And uh, yeah, yeah, that's where you can find us. All right. And tomorrow night on this channel, at 9 p.m. Eastern, we'll be back with another, another episode of Paranormal Pictures, myself, Jonathan, and Rachel. We'll be hosting a live commentary for the film Fire in the Sky, so check that out. The evening of September 11th, we'll be hosting a September 11th 9-11 uh, memory show uh, for anybody that wants to hop on and talk about their memories of 9-11 on the 20th anniversary. And then on September 15th, kind of a big show, we will be back with another episode of East of the Rockies, and our guest will be Michael Channels. Michael was basically the last best friend of Charles Manson. He was also in a legal battle for his remains and his uh, estate. So we'll be starting a, a show with him and uh, kind of going through his initial relationship with Charles Manson. So that's a hell of a variety. Do you, you want to hear a small world, small world thing? Sure. So fire in the sky, I believe, is that written by Tracy Torme? Uh, yes, I believe so. Okay. Who's Mel Torme's son, by the way? Mm -hmm. okay. um, Mel Torme was a famous singer back in the day. I don't know if you guys, any of you guys know him. Mm -hmm. But Tracy Torme used to be in a fantasy football league with me. Oh, wow. <laughs> he's he's very good at fantasy football. Guy was a fucking he was he was crack. Good 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 fantasy football player. Adam is not very good at fantasy football. Yeah, what? <laughs> 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 There's always this season, though. You never know. Turn it around. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he says every there's, season. There's always a, another year. <laughs> and Adam, thanks so much for uh, kind of being on the show tonight. Putting <laughs> in. That's what I do. I butt in. Hey, we we appreciate it. So, all right, guys. Until uh, well, thank we see you guys. You, until we thank see you, you so on much. this channel yeah. tomorrow night. 